everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another classic who reaction we are on to revenge of the cybermen part two i just i just feel a little bit like with this tom baker era so far i mean there hasn't been one dud story yet um i doubt this will be a dud story i'll be very shocked if i if this does turn out to be a dud story because generally all Cybermen stories in my opinion are just solid um and the first part of this I loved because there was a little moment when the the people were lying on the floor but they were quite clearly mannequins I did think like are they autons like what's what's gonna happen um and I like how it's all been linked between uh the ark in space and then the sontarans and then the daleks and now we're here in the cybermen it's all kind of like intertwined and i and i think that's really clever and um, i've got an itchy nose sorry uh, i hope you're all well guys if you are new please a reminder absolutely no spoilers zilch thank you um all of my social medias are linked below and Let's go. Should we bitten? Go. She's been bitten. Harry. Not working. Has it gone wrong, Doctor? Sabotage. Jimmy, but the bobblehead hasn't been tested, and then it could take four hours to fix. Then we must gamble, Margaret. The bobblehead. Oh, I thought I thought well, he, he was called Margaret. Very well. I'll send for every available engineer for us. At once. Margaret. Why has she not got the thingy anymore? God, look at his eyes. I'm a sucker for blue eyes. Oh gosh, no. No, I'm not I'm not okay with these masks, to be honest. Mitch. Find myself out of the Navy, my quiet little breakfast in the country, solid gold stethoscope. <laughs> Put a bit in your pocket. Not gonna work. That's right, Commander. I'll go into my cabin. You can lock me in if you like. Just don't try to follow. <laughs> Computer reports. Heavy phobic energy discharge between the beacon and Volga. 
Oh, that dude's got a black one. I'm not sure how I feel about this design. I do like the black headed one though. <laughs> they are so good together. people on the planet. They both know what the ship is, don't they? the beam. They're not after Harry and Sarah, Sarah, are they? They're the ones that are going to look after them. The long-haired ones. Don't leave the guy. Overcome. The beacon is ours. 
Okay, so the planet of Voga and the people on it, I, I haven't quite caught what they're, obviously now I know it's not Margaret, but the, what the species are called. I think that that is one of my favourite costumes yet. Like, if you see how many they would have had to have made, I think they're so good and super realistic and freaky. And just, I just love that. I also love the whole gold setting and the idea. I think that's fantastic. Um, I'm not sure about the Cybermen design. I, I don't really like the coming out of the heady bit. I feel like it's weird because I kind of prefer the Cybermen and stuff when they're a lot more boxy and they're a lot more unrefined. That's the word. I, like, I, I, I prefer that. I prefer it when you can you can kind of see how they put the costume together. They look a little bit too refined for me. Um, and the one with the black head is interesting. I assume he's like the leader. I'm really enjoying the story so far. I love the two contrasts. I love that we've got Harry and Sarah Jane together. They're so good together. And um, yeah, I just... I just like the contrast of both both settings and I really like the planet of Voga. So yeah, I'm very happy. Of course I'm happy. It's the Cybermen. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I will be back very soon with another reaction.